The United Nations Security Council is the premier decision-making body of the global community on questions of peace and security around the world. So it is not just about Kenya or Africa or the developing world, it's about the world. And so uh, joining the Security Council puts us in the league of the countries that are making determinations on the most critical enabler for development, mm -hmm. namely the pursuit of international peace and security. Now you will know that we have a pedigree in this area. Uh, we started participating with the first United Nations peacekeeping mission. Many Kenyans might not know that uh, uh, Kenya was one among us three nations that contributed the first UN peacekeeping mission to the Congo, to the DR Congo. Mm -hmm. And our story has been one of searching for peace across the world. So far, we have contributed uh, to more than 40 missions around the world, contributed more than 44,000 men and women to provide peace and security, but most importantly, worked very diligently to contribute to mediation, to contribute to prevention of peace, uh, of conflict, to, uh, uh, to mediate peace and uh, uh, conflict, to restore stability. Mm -hmm. You know, as we sit here today, we have a big contingent in Amisom in Somalia. We were very key in a lot of peace processes around this continent, Mozambique, Angola, Rwanda, Burundi, DR Congo, not long ago, Saharawi, Ethiopia, Eritrea. And if you go outside the world, I mean Liberia, mm -hmm. Sierra Leone, mention <coughs> it. Um, and it's not just the African continent, you are in the former Yugoslavia. We chaired the Peace Building Commission in the United Nations and have been the only country that has co-chaired that commission since it was established because the entire world realizes the value that we bring in terms of our contribution and in terms of the doctrine for peacemaking that we bring. Yeah, to my of course, you will know, Mark, that uh, uh, there is no development that you can have without a state of peace uh, and stability. And uh, clearly, contributing, thinking about the levels of threats that are upon our region, for mm -hmm. example, you require this far away decision-making mechanism to have the nuance and sensibilities that are relevant to the real issues on the ground. And you cannot do that if you do not have a, an actor, a country that is intimately involved. That is why I was saying it is about our experience, it is about our competence, mm -hmm. it is about how much we have given, and it's not just about peace and security in the strict sense. It is a broad range of creating the right environment for growing prosperity. So we have uh, built a huge capability to respond to disasters. You probably, again, many Kenyans might not know, but we are one of the very few countries that contributed a contingent of capabilities to deal with the Ebola crisis in West Africa. We were among the very few countries on this continent that responded to Cyclone Aldai. We are among the countries that respond to the crisis of famine and, and, and shortage of food within the region. Mm -hmm. Our Red Cross is world renowned. So, and why do we do this? We do this because we realize the potential, realizing Kenya's potential depends on an environment that can allow us to optimize the opportunities around us. So yes, great benefit, not just to the Monainchi, to the country, but also in terms of responding to what is a growing demand for our leadership globally. Very attractive.